Makita First Captain, Chapter 6. Then you will never be able to see better. As those words left my lips, the clouds unleashed a storm, the rain hammering down with newfound fury. Makita finally controlled her breathing as her eyes began to simmer back to the normal white they were previously. Now that you're calmed down, I yelled over the rain, we can start. I clasped her hand with renewed strength, as if drawing upon an ancient bond forged between Alpha and those a part of the elements. So this should be easy, I hope. She shifted her head in my direction like I sneezed. I'm just playing. This will work. Just listen to me. She slowly turned her face forward. Makita, I'm going to help you. Okay. I realized that I could help her move all that electricity out of her eyes, but she still needed to get that out on her own. So, what I want you to do is pretend that the people that made you were right in front of you and... Before I could get my final thought process to leave my lips, Makita's eyes were zapping through the forest at full force. I tried to interject, but suddenly she began to float above me, leaving me on the ground. I watched as the electric flowing from her eyes destroyed each tree in her view. The power grew tense and wider each passing second. I could feel that she was losing control, so I gently intervened. Being the alpha of all the pirate creatures means I get to control the Electro ones as well. I just hope that she is truly an Electro one like how I feel she is. I controlled my breathing, slowly lowering her to the ground. The electricity flowing from her eyes began to dim the closer she got to the ground. I placed her on the ground and sent her to work out her issues in her